I seek the master brewer, Hakuf. I have no time. Speak to one of my overseers if you must. You misunderstand. I am a Magi. Apollodorus sent me. Apollodorus, of course. He sent me for the scarab, the shadow that darkens Saïs. Shh, please. That is an evil name to speak aloud. Apollodorus knows that people are suffering. In my position, many confide in me. Trade is strangled, the soldiers run rampant, and the weight of Ptolemy's taxation crushes the breath from us. Come with me. Let us retire where we have a roof overhead. Huh? There are many terrible stories about the scarab. I am sure Apollodorus told you. Tales of mutilation, disappearances, and folk buried in the desert and left to die. A horrendous fate, trapped in the shimmering sand, your mind and body pounded by the remorseless sun, waiting for the final release into the duat. These are only stories. There are real villains in size. But the Scarab, if he exists, it is not safe to speak of him. The investigations of Harkov's agents, concerns of the people. Ah, size is no different than Siwa. The last man who asked questions about the scarab was near beaten to death, with his tongue cut out. <clears throat> who was he? Old Gupa, father-in-law to the most powerful man in the region, Tahaka. That boy, Kawab, is his grandson. Hey, you tired of winning? I'm looking for your grandfather. Do you know where he went? No. He left on the road to Camp Piros. He should have been home by now. I'll see if I can find him along the road. Not to draw attention here. If he survives the beating the men gave him, we'll sell him at the <laughs> Snap to think we've got company. Eyes open. Hey, I'm ready to it. <laughs> if he survives the beating the men gave him, we'll sell him at the harbor for a draft. Sharp now. I don't want to visit your wife this bad. Shit, won't catch what me. What's going on? <laughs> huh? What are you? Hey, what? Can't be sure it's safe. Here. Mine now. Fuck. 
I think you will survive. I know this scarab took your tongue, but we can help each other. Akuf told me that you are investigating this scarab. Help me, and I can ensure he dies. carry you to fabled Letopolis. Letopolis is a dream given form, a new home for you, built by your hands and labors. It is not without its dangers, but the promise of a glorious tomorrow awaits you. It is a shining lighthouse of hope, all alone in the desert night. I just heard. Terrible. Banged up, bruised, and thirsty. The soldiers do not take kindly to him, but he will be all right. Where is your father, Kawa? We must speak of this. Father is away, on his great work. Mother! Grandfather is hurt. Soldiers mistook him for a beggar again. Father! What have you done this time? You were searching for this scarab. I hope he can help me. And in return, I can protect your family. The scarab is nonsense. Everyone knows this. He wants you to read them. Uh, it looks like the scarab is summoning warriors to the city of Letopolis. By the gods! That is where my husband is. But the city swallowed by the desert. It is father's destiny to rebuild it. We're going to join him soon. Right, mother? Yes. My husband, Tahaka, has been slaving there for months. I'm sure he can help you. He knows everyone there. If you go, tell him I can't wait to see him. Yeah, of course I will, Kawab. I should find the Zervos and see what he knows about Sefetu. See if he's connected to the Scarab. I will ask among the merchants, see which are friendly to him. Good day to you, Nick. Tax collectors ask Any me too much. work I can it's do for you. this day. But what can we do? I will not put words between your teeth. 
I am going to pack my things and travel to Litopolis. Master Tahaka is building a wonderful place for all. It is tempting, but all my family is here. You are lucky to have no wife or children. You can just leave. I am just looking. You know about a man named Zervos? The harbor master? Huh. Why are you asking about him? I have heard he is missing. In hiding? Perhaps dead. What would you do if Sefetu put a price on your head? Ah, I see. I am not one of Sefetu's men. I don't know anything about it. I don't stick my neck out. I have nothing to tell you. Finest metalwork in size. Any metal work you need done? I'm still hunting for Zervos. Hunting? Uh, sorry, I cannot tell you anything. Hey! You want some fish or what? I am looking for Zervos, the harbor master. Oh! I heard Sefeto gutted him. Good day for business? Not half bad. What are you looking for today? For Zervos, the harbor master. Do you know where to find him? You are looking for who? Why? I don't know him. I heard he was dead. Why are you bothering about him? He was a good man. A good man? So you do know him? I don't. I just heard others say it. Leave me be. I'm still looking for Zervos. I told you already. I don't know anything. Leave me be. Oh, Care for some dates? Finest in the area. Same ones the brewery uses for its famous beer. I'm just looking. You know about a man named Zervos? Zervos? The harbor master is dead. What are you looking for today? The harbor master, Zervos. Do not ask about him. The guards killed him. You look like a strapping sword. Looking to improve your armor? Long night? Very. Sorry. What are you interested in? At the moment, I'm looking for Zervos. The harbor master? Of course. Uh, Zervos is uh, away. Away? Yes, uh, he's gone to Litopolis. Attracted by the promise of a new life. Then he is not dead. Dead? Why would you think he was dead? Any further word on Zervos? Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, who is that again? Another late night. Uh, they are all long these days. I see. Uh, sorry, I, I can't help you. Any metal work you need done? I'm still hunting. Order of Sefetu, a curfew is imposed in town after dusk. That old mute was skulking around again. <laughs> Have we found some rich family? Maybe. Maybe that's why no one has chased him out of town. He lives up at the Tahaka estate. Hmm. This place is heavily guarded. 
By order of Sefetu, a curfew is imposed in town after dusk. Hey, what? As best I can. I'm tired of hiding. There is a stranger in the market asking about you. What? Who is he? Is he one of Sefetu's curs? I do not know. I do not think so. He wears an old-fashioned badge, but he does look dangerous. Badge? What kind of badge? A Magi badge, I think. A protector? Uh, keep a watch on that one. We are not fighting men. You can take the bounty off my head. I am not one of Sefetu's men. I am searching for Zervos on behalf of Hakuf. Good. I am Zervos, mighty harbor master of size. <laughs> Forced to hide on my own docks. Why is Sefetu after you? That dog. He is strangling the whole town. Taxes us to death. You burned my cousin's farm. That's right! I've been doing what I can. Helping people hide their imports and exports. What Sefetu does not see, he cannot tax. And he figured it out. His men raided my business and my house. But I hid my records on my felucca. If they haven't found my boat yet, they soon will. I'll see what I can do. My feluca is tied up at the Sais docks. I would prefer to have it back in one piece. But, if you must destroy it, go carefully. Sefetu's men watch the harbor like hawks. Oh, 
didn't hide any longer. I secured your Feluca. Your documents are safe. You saved my Feluca. Here. Take this as a small token of thanks. You have made things better here. You clearly have people who are willing to help you out, Zervos. Why don't you take on Sefetu? Sefetu is too powerful. Too greedy. He knows there is no one strong enough to stop him. We are not fighting men. Sefetu surrounds himself with soldiers. His base at Fort Nikiyu is guarded with Baliste. Fool that I am. I helped him import them. May Amun watch over you. Amosis? Yes? Fresh cockles and mussels today. My name is Bayek. I come from Hakuf. He needs your help as a friend of Jeska. I'm listening. Since Jeska was killed, Hakuf needs a trusted agent to shepherd people out from under Sefetu's watch. Dead? You and Hakuf are out of touch. Jeska's too tough to be held by Sefetu. She escaped the firebrand. What? Where is she? Back on the river. She took a felucca loaded with supplies to the people she sheltered. She's taken a dangerous route to the southwest past the hippopotamuses to avoid Sefetu's eyes. If you follow the coast, you'll find her. are you called? Bayek. Good to meet you, Bayek. I am Jeska. How did you end up here? I got lost. Sailed the wrong way. I would not call avoiding Sefetu's patrols the wrong way. What do you know of Sefetu? Akuf believed you are dead, but you escaped. He needs you back. Help me get these supplies to my village. There are many depending on me. And we will talk. Hakuf. I was sent to him by a man to whom I am pledged. I believe we are working towards the same end. Well, Hakuf is a great man. Though Saïs is a region of self-proclaimed great men. But Hakuf has a good heart. He cares for his people and his city. Yes. He protects them from cowards like the Scarab and Sefetu. I have smuggled many families like poor Wenis and her son out of Saïs to keep them safe. 
Those who have tried to refuse Sefetu, he has burned to death. You are courageous to protect families that are not your blood. If you say, I hide them in my village until we can arrange a caravan to get them beyond the desert. Hence the food and medicine I bring. How did you survive? Sefetu soldiers brought me to Fort Nikiu where they burned and tortured me. But I spat in their faces. When they thought me broken, I... By the gods, Sefetu has come! of limits. Stay here. Many lives turned to ash. Is anyone left? We need to be quick. More will come. Did you hear that? Yes. By the gods, you are still alive! I will not leave you here. My cousins have a farm nearby. It may be untouched. Please help me bring Pentu. Of course. I will take him. He needs help. Of course. Bring him here. <laughs> oh. Thank you for Pentu's life. I did nothing that you would not have done. 
He owes his life to you. This is not the end of it, however. No. Those dogs still hunt for the prick master. I will go to Hakuf. We must find a way to peel Sefetu out of his shell and deal with I him. I cannot bring your people back from Duat, but I will help you avenge your village. Have any trouble bringing your crops? I tomorrow. heard Nofuri say that Arsene, they were packing up to move to the top of the They are torture. going to risk it. So she says their farm is lease. failing, so they see All it they as a new start. All they do is take advantage of us. It sounds like a it's lot not of work. right to restore and rebuild a whole city. Yes, but they say it is a promise of a new life. If you believe them. Well, I'll wait for Nofuri to get settled and write us with news. Then we will see. Master Tahaka's wife is so kind. I cannot thank the gods enough for delivering her to us. I have heard that about Lady Maharet. It's true. She heard our business was suffering and bought a full cart of cloth for her new home. Are they moving to Letopolis? Yes, that is where he works all the time. I only hope they don't forget those of us who still live here. Oh! Please, Mejai, if I can trouble you, Harkov's assistant, Nesamun, took a delivery of beer down the southern road. He never made it to Yamu. Please, can you find him and make sure he's okay? I am on the case. That beer was meant to honor Sekhmet. If he drank all that beer, he'd be whipped. These jackals will continue to prey on the good people of this region. I must deal with them.
Are you Nesamun? Are you all right? Thank happy, yes. What happened? I was bringing a delivery to Yamu when I was ambushed by these bastards. And? Yes. Okay, I stopped for a quick nap. But still, the drunkards smashed all the beer and threatened to kill me if I did not brew more for them. Take the oxen back to size. You'll have to prepare a new delivery, I imagine. Try not to stop along the road this time. Master Tahaka, my name is Bayek from Siwa. I am indeed Tahaka, Grand Planner of Sais and Steward of Latopolis. I met your family. Your wife sent me here. She said you might know about the one called the Scarab. This is not the place to speak, for who knows who may overhear our words. Come inside and I will answer you. Your son is very proud of your work. He misses you. You'll be here soon. I dream of my son and his sons following in my steps. The world is made by great men dreaming big. What do you dream of, Bayek? I do not have the luxury of dreams. Just finding the scarab. The scarab preys upon the weak. He is no threat to me. Are you not afraid of the Scarab, Tahaka? It seems after what he did to your father-in-law... What happens to poor Gupa tears me. Whatever my life's work, whatsoever I did to bring that down upon him, I beg the gods forgive me. Master Tahaka! They're attacking the ruins again! Bayek, come fight with me. Sandstorm coming. That keening is the voice of the Resetium. The desert dogs use the storm as a rallying cry. These reavers use the sandstorm to mask their raids. Stay close to me! Do not let these curse surround you! I will not let you destroy my great work! You will
rest of Egypt. Come, Meta! Sobek's teeth! Hayek ride with us! These desert dogs have crossed me for the last time. And with your fierce iron, I know we can end their threat. I understand your thirst for blood, Tahaka. But these bandits are not my concern. Tell me about the scarab before you ride. Is that not the badge of a Medjai that you wear? These rivers are a threat to the good and innocent people of Latopolis. Come with me, Hayek. And once we have returned these curs, to the desert they so love. Then I will tell you the story you want to hear. All right. I will join your course for today. Join us, brave, loyal servants of Latopolis. We will root these rivers out of their holes and spill their blood on the sand. <laughs> this task you have put yourself to, it seems impossible. <laughs> Only the gods... Metropolis was a wonder once, before the desert overtook it. I mean to show the world, to show the gods, that men can conquer anything if they put their minds to it. Perhaps you have been sent by the gods to help me realize my vision. A strong arm, a keen eye, we could restore this land to glory. I have my own great work ahead of me. <laughs> we shall see if I cannot convince you. Oh, no. 
Hey, wait! <laughs> hmm. Sounds like a few bandits are roosting up top. My thanks to you, Baik. Before you arrived, I thought my dream was doomed to die. You gave me the strength to hunt down these reavers. Who are they? Blood-fevered followers of Sekhmet, the Lady of Slaughter. They wish nothing more than chaos and ruin. Are they connected to this garab? <laughs> no. They think themselves lions, but they are no more than carrion eaters. And now they will feed the scavengers. I will bring this priest back to the city. Meet me at my house. We will dine, and I will tell you what you need to know. May Ta bless you and the protector saving me, Master Ta. How did you end up here? I was kidnapped by these blood-crazed raiders. I thought the road from Memphis to Litopolis was safe. It is now, and I will ensure it stays so. You say you came from Memphis? Memphis is home to many priests. They do not need me there. But Letopolis is fertile ground, planted by your hard work. How are things in Memphis? I must admit, Memphis is under a shadow. The High Priest angered the gods, and is cursed to see the doom of the city. Your messengers reached Memphis, singing of your vision of tomorrow. I have come here to serve the gods. Once you are rested, we will make a home for you in Letopolis. Sandstorm? Come, father said you join us for dinner. I'm glad you made it safely, Maharat. <laughs> yes, the gods blessed our passage. We saw vultures and a hyena and so much sun. <laughs> Enough sand to fill a lifetime. That is why we need so many to help us with our great work. And what do you promise them, Tahaka? A parcel of land with a house to call their own. They must only help reclaim it from the desert. That is all? Just dig up your house? It is no simple task. We must all pitch in to honor the gods. People know his vision is a true one. It is good to honor your father, Kawab. The savior of Lotopolis. Mm. Let us have some honey dates now. And are you all right, Bayer?
against you, Tahaka. Far as you do. of armor, weapons, and coin. Where to begin? Now, to hurry before the wind erases the tracks. Shadows. <laughs> 